Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dub K Dad. Do another episode of Cars That Should Exist. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to say something. Um, I know that many of you are sick of this series. Uh, that was made evident by the lack of views in my last video. But I have to say that I enjoy doing these videos. Um, somehow, I have typecasted myself into only doing videos about um, rogue deck lists or um, like combo scenarios. And those are the only videos that truly get a lot of support. Every once in a while, um, I'll have a discussion that you guys really like. But more than not, it's, it's only Rogue Decks or that. And, you know, it, it, I'm just really not allowed to do things that I like. And that's the kind of thing that in the past has prevented me from just, like, uploading a lot. Um, I only want to put stuff up that people wanted to see. And then that kind of depressed me because... You know, I like uploading, but there's some of the things I want to upload, but I can't because if I do, I want to watch it. So I'm more or less just going to upload what I like. And I know this will probably affect my uh, amount of subscribers again. Hopefully my true subs will stay with me as I put up content that I enjoy. Um, September 1st is coming, so I want to start uploading more. And it'll be a lot of fun, weird shit that, you know, that, that is Yu-Gi-Oh! related. But it's just stuff that I like, okay? Um, I started this channel because I like the game, um, not just playing the game, but, you know, also concepts of the game, you know, what could be in the game, what has been in the game, the past, present, and future of the game, okay? So that's my little minute and a half rant. Um, uh, there were so many people who requested this archetype, and again, I appreciate those who enjoy this, who enjoy the fact that I enjoy making videos like this, but we're going to talk about... Can you see it? Reptilians. Really cool archetype that came out in um, Stars, uh, Stardust Overdrive. SO, SO, SOVR and then Absolute Power Force. They've got more support. Um, their tuner came out in Stardust Overdrive, or their Synchro, Reptilian Hydra. And it's a really cool archetype. Um, the way I envision the deck and the way I see it runs is based on putting your mon your opponent's monsters to zero and then doing stuff to them. So like, I picked up a half of a card at Sneak Peek. I still have them. Where is it? Doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, can you see that? One, two, three, and then four. These are the, f these are the four cards I have left from this, from um, the time I picked them up, these are all unlimited. I had the first editions, but I got rid of them over time. But, you know, I kept picking them up. I just thought, wow, this is a really cool mechanic. Konami's really going to do something with this. Nope. <laughs> but, you know, when the Synchro is summoned, you destroy all monsters your opponent controls with zero attack, and then you draw cards equal to the number of monsters you destroyed. So... They had a field full of um, dandelion or scapegoat tokens. Synchro for this, pop all their tokens, and then draw some freaking cards. I mean, that's... So I just thought, like, wow, okay, there's going to be some kind of really cool support that allows you to abuse this. Because, you know, when Starter Silver Drive came out, you know, think about all the decks that were out at the time that were um, getting busted, you know. You had uh, Dandy, you had Dandy Warrior. Um, you had, uh, uh, I think, Black Wings were really good at that time. And uh, so I was just like, okay, yeah. So they're gonna. This is gonna be a new archetype. Gonna be hot. No. Nope. So you know, looking through these decks, they have some really cool cards. Uh, Reptilian Gardener. Very overlooked. His effect. Uh, when this card, it, when this card you control is destroyed into the graveyard, add one Reptilian monster from your deck to your hand. Well, no spells, obviously. But so I mean, he has all these targets. Doesn't matter the level, the attack, or whatever. You just add the damn thing to your hand. So he's like a Sangin for your whole deck. And all he has to do is be destroyed. He has a 2,000 defense, but you know, you play the reptile version of um, Icarus Attack, um, offering to the Snake Deity. It destroys this. You destroy two of their cards, and then you search. So, I mean, I thought that was, I thought, you know, when I picked this stuff up, I was just like, man, this is going to be really cool. Nope, not a eh, nope, eh. 
So, you know, and then I was taking this. I got my invite uh, last year to Nats running this in my quick draw deck during the, not hit last year, but during when, Dan, when Danny Warrior was um, like all the rage between Vasky, her effect is tribute uh, two monsters on the field with zero attack from anywhere on the field, especially something from your hand. And then once per turn, you can destroy a, um, a face up monster your opponent controls. I mean, the sheer fact she has 2,600 beats, plus she pops the card. So your opponent is doing a drill warrior loop, blah, 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 blah. They're cool. Uh, tribute your tokens that you're using for defense. Drop this. Um, pop your face up monster, and then do my shenanigans with my drill warrior. So I thought. I thought it was pretty cool tech, and it ended up getting my invite. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to uh, Nats that year because of work and kids and this, that, and the third. Okay. So the first card I created, and I created two for this archetype because I feel that these two will be all they need. Uh, the first one um, I created is a monster. Um, it's called Reptilian Seeker. I know that the other reptilians have, like, these. Like, this is Reptilian Vasky. This is Gorgon. This is uh, Naga, Medusa, um, Scylla. But then these two, Servant and Viper, have pr pretty basic names. So I felt that I could give this one a not-so-complicated-ass name. Because I can't even say this other shit. So, Reptilian Seeker. Level 4 dark, er, level four Water Reptile, Zero Attack, Zero Defense. When this card is summoned while you control another reptilian monster it is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field period when this card is special summoned all monsters you control original attack becomes zero into the end phase so normal summon reptilian seeker and let's say you control reptilian Scylla on the field already so you summon your seeker or you have your Scylla on the field you summon your seeker it's special summon to your opponent's side of the field. All their monsters, um, original type becomes zero. So that's cool. You get to use her effect. When she destroys a monster by battle, it special summon to you. It's still a monster by battle, sends it to the graveyard. She special summons it to her side of the field in defense, or his side of the, No, she has boobs. So to her <laughs> to her side of the field in defense. And then you can exceed or sink or whatever. So, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. Um... Then you have the Viper, their only freaking tuner. I thought they were going to get more tuners, because as it stands, you can only make their Synchro by using a Reptilian tuner, which they only made one of, and then a level 4 monster. So this is like the only way you can make their damn Synchro, because they gave up on the archetype so fast, or these two. But anyway, well, not those two, but him and something else. But this dude's effect is, when he's normal summoned, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, with zero attack and take control of it. I mean, it, not until the end phase, you just take control of it. So let's say you, like, uh, Monster Reborn this, or even, yeah, you Monster Reborn this, then you summon Seeker. Seeker is pressed onto your opponent's side of the field, and then you just snatch their biggest monster. You know, it. their big monster's attack goes back to full attack the next turn. Or you take a level four synchro of the NIS, and then you just pop all their monsters and draw a bunch of cards. So I felt that that was, you know, had lots of potential. And then, you know, Reptilian Seekers, searchable by Gardena. Um, if you activate Seeker's effect, then you can just tribute all your opponent's monsters and special summon her, or take uh, tribute two of them and then drop her pop the final monster, attack their seeker or whatever. Um, so it's really cool play. And um, what's the other card? And then of course, you know, Gardena searches Vasky. The final card I created for the uh, Reptilian archetype is a counter trap and it's just called Slither <laughs> with an explanation mark. Um, it's a counter trap. When your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect, destroy one monster with zero attack on the field. And if you do, negate that spell, trap, or monster effect. Now, I felt that, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, it's semi-splashable. Like, if you play um, 
I don't know, a Jama Trio. You Jama Trio, give your opponents a Jama Tokens and set three of these. Seems kind of hot. So they play Storm. You flip Slither. Um, destroy a Jama Token. And then Heavy Storm is negated. And then the Jama Token effect activates. They take 300. Or you set it up so that you have Slither set and you know you do some shenanigans um, and you summon one of your dudes with zero attack like Viper and then you do your seeker play like you're a born monster you're a monster reborn seeker um, also the reptile archetype or the reptile type has their own monster reborn um, I couldn't find it for the life of me I don't remember what it's called if somebody knows what it is comment down below with it but um, it's a monster reborn for uh, for reptiles specifically if you only have reptiles in your grave and they go torrential tribute or Valor the dude on summon you can flip the slither uh, Destroy your viper or destroy You know whatever else they have on if they already have zero tech monsters on the field or something So, you know, this is all kind of combos you can set up with I mean even if you have like a effect Valor summon your effect Valor and do the combo because uh, effect Valor has zero tech I just, you know, just thought, thought some really cool combos with that. Um, tell me what you guys think. Um, again, there's so many people who requested this. I, I couldn't really, like, pin down a name on who was the first one suggested it or um, who made the best case for it. But I simply picked it because I had so many of these and I had picked up the cards because I really wanted to toy around with the deck. Plus, I was running Reptilian Vasky in my uh, quick draw deck that I used to get my invite to Nationals. Um, the year Quick Draw Danny Warrior uh, was a top deck. Alright, this is Dub K Dad. Cards that should exist. Having fun, and I'm out.